greetings. Today I'm addressing you from, yes, space. And what better place to talk to our expert, Tom Space, about space communications. Uh, Matt, it's uh, Space, Tom Stace. Uh, yeah, okay, but just wait because we're gonna put you in a, make it look like you're in a space shuttle. Yeah, yeah just wait out there. Okay. Tom Stace, do you copy? I read you loud and clear. Well then, Tom, now we enter the final, final frontier. Not space, but space communication. So Tom, how do we communicate with people who go into space? Well, it's the same basic idea as uh, how you communicate with people on Earth. Uh, you send information over waves. I'll give you a little example with sound waves. So I can hum a, a tone, mm, and that doesn't carry inf any information. But if I hum a tone like this, mm, 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 you know that I'm trying to communicate something to you, which is happy birthday. I don't know if it's your birthday. Uh, but that, that's how you uh, carry information on a wave, is you change something about the wave in time. And so radio communications works by modulating the electromagnetic field uh, a billion times per second. And so that, that change in the frequency or change in the properties of that field uh, communicates information from the sender to the receiver. So what are some future forms of technology that we could use to communicate with astronauts maybe traveling to Mars? So radio waves has been how we've communicated with people uh, since the, the dawn of the space age. And what people want to do next is use light waves rather than radio waves to send information from uh, one place to another. And that, that's, that's great uh, in one regard. You can make a laser point an extremely uh, narrow beam, a pencil-like beam from Earth to Mars. And so as long as you can point it at the target you're trying to hit, you can use that, uh, that signal to, to uh, communicate with much faster data rates. It's, it's a really hard problem though. Imagine you're, you're trying to point a pencil, you know, a laser beam at a target that's moving on Mars at the speed of a satellite, which is thousands of kilometers an hour, and, and still always hit it. And also remember it takes minutes for the light to get there. So you, you have to shoot the laser where you think the satellite's gonna be, not where it is right now. And so it's a very difficult problem, but it's one that people are working on so that they have uh, fast and reliable networks between Earth and uh, interplanetary uh, satellites. Well, that's all we have time for today. And remember, in space, no one can hear you scream unless you have the correct communication equipment. You ruined it! Can you just let me finish?